So you're thinking about making a move here to the Baltimore metro area and you're looking to learn more about Baltimore, Maryland specifically. In this video today, we're diving in to the pros and cons of living in Baltimore, Maryland. So if that's the info that you're looking for. Stick around, we're getting after it right now. What is up everyone? It's Adam Taylor with the Relentless Home Group of Cummings and Company Realtors. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel and you're looking to learn all about living in Maryland, great news, you're in the right spot. We do videos each and every week talking about living here, working here, chilling here, and most importantly, getting out and enjoying all this amazing state has to offer. So if that is the information that you're looking for, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we put out another video just like this one. Now, right now, like I always say, we are receiving phone calls, text messages, and emails from folks all over the world looking to make a move right here to Baltimore and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether it's now or in 90 days, hey, we wanna help you out in that transition, but we just need one thing from you and that's for you to reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever you need to do. Look, we got your back. We're moving right here to Baltimore, Maryland. My friends, look, we're gonna jump right into the pros and cons and get right to the chase, but make sure you stick around to the end because I'm telling you, the last few cons you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about because you know what? They are what you're gonna experience here when living in Baltimore, Maryland. So the first pro that I love about living here in Baltimore is the ability to get to the beach and to the mountains within just a few hours drive. So what do I mean by that? Here in Baltimore, we can commute down to Ocean City, Maryland, which is just about a two and a half to three hour drive southeast of the city. You go over the Bay Bridge and head on down to the Eastern Shore and boom, your toes are in the sand in a matter of hours. Conversely, if the beach is not your thing, you know what? We can flip it around the other way and you can head out to the mountains hop on the slopes or take a good hike in three to three and a half hours by traveling out to Deep Creek Lake. Now, I'll share a quick story with you here real quick. What I typically like to do with my kids is I like to set up two family vacations per year. And in the summertime, we head down to uh, the beaches in Ocean City. We usually hit up one of the campgrounds nearby, Castaways, Frontier Town, one of the two we'll usually hit up. And then in the wintertime, during winter break for school, I'll take my kids out to Deep Creek Lake and we'll go skiing. So my friends, whether you like your toes in the sand or in the snow, Maryland's got it all for you. Pro number two, my friends, is the job market in the Baltimore metro area is really, really strong. And what do I mean by that? If you are looking to work for one of the large companies headquartered right here in the Baltimore metro area, you're in luck. We've got companies like Under Armour, Pandora, the Social Security Administration and investment banking firm T. Rowe Price are all headquartered right here in Baltimore. In addition to that, if you are in the healthcare field, Johns Hopkins University and the hospital are some of the largest employers here in Baltimore. In addition to that, University of Maryland and so many others have hospitals right in downtown Baltimore. Now, the last sector that makes up a big chunk of our job market is the growth in tech that we are seeing. And subsequently, we're seeing a lot of government contractors that are reporting to places like Fort Meade or even the Pentagon coming to the area here in Baltimore. So we've got a lot of federal workers, but more importantly, we're seeing an influx of like biotech workers in the Baltimore metro area. Baltimore is sort of becoming a hub and a growing hub of that sector of the tech space. So my friends, if you're looking for a job, Baltimore is a great and stable place to look for employment. The third pro I wanna share with you is the ability to experience all four seasons here in Maryland. Yes, my friends, you are going to have to bundle up in the winter and you're gonna be able to wear your best bathing suit in the summertime because we get the extremes in temperatures here all year round. But in reality, like if you really think about it, there aren't too many states where you can say that you get a decent summer and a decent winter in the United States. But let's look at the weather here in the Baltimore metro area. Our best seasons are the spring and the fall because the temperatures are moderate. And you know what? It's just a real pleasant spot to be. On the flip side though, you've got the summertime. In the summer here, it gets hot. And if you like it hot, great news. You're gonna you're gonna love the heat here. Our, our hottest month is typically in the month of August. Now the difference with Baltimore is we get or can get up to 100% humidity. So my friends, you could be walking it out to your car just to go to work. And if the air condition is not working, you might have to bring a change of clothes with you because your clothes are gonna be soaked from the humidity in the air. Now on the flip side, if we look at the winter, the winter, in my opinion, is the worst season. But if you're, you love the winter, 
good news, you're in luck because you're gonna have your fill of snow and ice and everything that you can imagine. So I'll share a quick story with you here. I can remember getting so much snow here in my senior year of high school and there was a blizzard and schools were closed down for seven to 10 days. We're not like the Midwest or the Northeast where nothing affects us with schools. I'm telling you, if there's just even a dream or a thought of a snowflake coming down, schools are gonna be at a minimum two hours late. So my friends, if you're looking to experience all four seasons, you're in luck because we get it all right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Pro number four is it's so easy to travel when living in Baltimore. What do I mean by that? Well, here's the good news. Baltimore Washington International Airport is the main airport servicing Baltimore, Maryland. And Southwest Airlines ironically has a hub in Baltimore. So anywhere Southwest flies, more than likely, you're probably gonna be able to find a direct flight to that destination, whether it's just here in the continental US or even places down into the Caribbean. Now, with that said, we can't fly to all parts of the world right out of Baltimore, but the good news is one of our neighbors to the north or south can help you out with that, meaning that you could head down to Washington, D.C. and take a flight out of Reagan National or Dulles and get to your destination. If the flight is not offered in Baltimore or D.C., chances are you can head on up to Philadelphia and get the flight that you need there by driving 90 minutes to two hours to Philly. So if travel is a part of your job or you like to travel, great news, you're in luck. And oh, by the way, here's an additional added bonus that you may not have known. Those of you that like to go on cruises, did you know Baltimore is a port for Carnival Cruise Lines? I believe we've got Royal Caribbean coming in as well right now. So if you like to cruise, great news. You don't have to hop on a plane. You can get right on the boat right here in Baltimore. Pro number five and the final one that I have for you here today is the professional sports that you can enjoy here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here in Baltimore, we love the Baltimore Ravens of the NFL and Major League Baseball's Baltimore Orioles. In addition to that, we host the Preakness Stakes, which is part of the Triple Crown in horse racing. Baltimore's also been host to several PGA and LPGA golf tournaments in the past. The other thing that I wanna mention, and then I think you'll really like, if your favorite sports team is not coming, you know, play the Ravens or play the Orioles, great news. Our neighbors to the north and south more than likely have your favorite team coming you know, to town for you to check out. And what I mean by that, we've got the Washington Nationals and commanders of the NFL in Washington, DC. Now there's also hockey with the Capitals and basketball with the Washington Wizards. Conversely, if you go up to Philly, you've got the Philadelphia Phillies for baseball, the Eagles for football, the Flyers for hockey, and the Sixers for basketball. So my friends, if you're a sports lover, just like I am, you're gonna love living here in Baltimore, Maryland. So look, if you wanna go check out a baseball game, there is no place like visiting Camden Yards here in Baltimore. It's fabulous. I actually took my boys on out to opening day and they had a blast. Except for my poor son and uh, what I'll do here, we'll put a link to the video right here, but you'll be able to check out the crazy fan that he actually got to sit next to in the video. I'm sure it'll give you a good laugh, but. All in all, we had a great time. The O's got the win. And you know what? We're looking really good here for 2023 season. If you are finding value in this content here today that I'm dropping on you, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. The reason I need that is we need your help with the YouTube algorithm and getting this video pushed out to more folks just like you that are looking to make a move right here to the Baltimore metro area. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, I encourage you to consider hitting subscribe below. Give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we put out another video just like this one. Now I've gone through quite a bit of stuff already here and we're getting ready to jump into the cons, but if there's a question that you have, whatever it may be, do me a favor, ask your question down below and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible and get you the answers that you need. Now, this video would not be complete without me telling you the cons of the pros and cons of living in Baltimore, Maryland, right? So the first con that I've got for you today is the traffic. The traffic in and around the Baltimore metro area, in my opinion, really stinks. And if you're looking at some of our busiest roads, Interstate 95, north and south of the city, you've got Interstate 695, which is the Baltimore Beltway. And that tends to back up in places like Towson, which is on the northern side of the Beltway, or also on the western side of the Beltway in areas like Reisterstown, Woodlawn, in that 
I-70 interchange, it really starts to get boogered up during rush hour traffic. Now, those two roads are not the only two roads that get their da daily dose of heavy traffic. We also have Interstate 83, which runs north and south right out of Baltimore City. That road gets very backed up, but here's the other added asterisk that I wanna make sure you know. In the event of winter weather, whether snow or ice, don't go on 83. The road is elevated and it is a flipping ice rink during winter weather and so many bad crashes happen on Interstate 83 because people don't let their foot off the gas and they wreck and it's really, really bad. Now, as you head south of the city, it doesn't get any better. Roads like 295, which is a straight shot into Washington, D.C., and it goes to areas like Fort Meade, right by the airport. You're gonna run into traffic there and then 95 south of the city, Heading to places like Columbia and Laurel, traffic gets very congested as well. I'll share with you a quick story. Look, each year I go out and I visit all of my clients and I try to deliver a Thanksgiving pie right around the Thanksgiving holiday. And just this year, I went to deliver a Chris and Kate's pie to them. And I kid you not, my friends, there was a tractor trailer wreck on Interstate 95 blocking north and southbound lanes of traffic and I couldn't get to them. I had to exit and come back the next day. Had I gone down to Baltimore from my office, it would have taken me, I kid you not, three hours to get home to where I needed to be. So it is no joke. And I'm telling you, if you can at all, use the back roads. If you connect with the local, we can share the best back roads to use in and around the city. But that is going to be your secret to beating all the traffic that we have on our major roadways. Here we are at con number two, and it's the big elephant in the room. The one I think you need to know most about because it's the one you're probably reading most about right now, and it is the crime in Baltimore. Now, don't get me wrong, the crime here is real. And each and every day, you'll hear of a murder or something bad happening inside the city. Here's what I'm gonna do and preface things for you. Well, I'm gonna give you a couple strategies on this. Number one, a link that you can go to that I'll have down in the description below is the Baltimore City Crime Data Map. What I encourage you to do, if you are looking to live in the Baltimore city limits, to go to this crime map and look specifically at the areas that you're considering living in and see what's happening. You know, was it something bad like a murder or was it uh, vandalism or car break-in? Whatever it might be, the city does an excellent job in reporting these statistics to give you the information that you need to make the right decision. What strategies can we look at using here in Baltimore? Number one, when you're coming to Baltimore, you're either going to be going to work, going to school, going to an event, whether it's a concert, visiting the BMO Railroad Museum, visiting the aquarium with your family, baseball game, football game, whatever it might be, you're specifically coming for one of those events. I've been to thousands of them. I kid you not. I go to lots of concerts, lots of baseball and football games, and I have never had an issue. Knock on wood. Have I seen a homeless fellow or two on my way to one of the games? Yeah but that's the worst that I've seen in all of my years of living here in Maryland. So where I'm going with this is people think you're gonna hear Omar's whistle from The Wire. Hey, yo. Check it out. That's something ain't right, yo. Watch out, man. And like people running around like, Omar's coming, Omar's coming, you need to hide, you need to get out of here. And yes, there are parts of the city where that is the case. You don't wanna to go to those places, okay? If you're not venturing to them, you're gonna be fine. But I'm tired of the negative, how people frame Baltimore as this bad and evil place. When in reality, I've lived here for pretty much all of my life and I've never had an issue. Do your due diligence, have situational awareness, but also, don't shy away from everyone else's negativity, putting a cloud over Baltimore because it's a great place. And those of us that live here in Maryland love to call Baltimore home. The third con I wanna share with you are the taxes we have to pay here in Maryland. But more specifically, we're gonna drill it down to Baltimore. Now, Baltimore has the highest property tax rate here in Maryland. For example, for every $100 that your property is assessed, I'm gonna glance at my notes here, you're gonna be assessed almost $2.25 per $100 of assessed value. So what does that mean to you? Let's give you a real life example. Say you purchase a home for $300,000 in Baltimore City, a nice rehabbed row home. Your property taxes based on that 
$300,000 assessed value are gonna be $6,744 each and every year. That doesn't cover HOA fees that you, or condo fees that you may have, it doesn't cover your water bill, it doesn't cover your utilities, your car insurance, none of that. That's just the property taxes you're gonna to have to pay to live in Baltimore City. Now let's look at some of the other expenses you're gonna to have to pay when you, when you make a move here to Maryland. Our sales tax is at 6%, so pretty much everything with the exception of your essential food items is gonna be taxed at 6%. Alcohol tax, I believe is at 9%. Then you're also gonna have your personal income tax and your income tax rates can be as low as 2% and exceed even 6% right now by the time you add locality differences in. So you're gonna have quite a hefty tax burden when making the move here to Maryland. Some other things you need to consider, fees that you may have to pay, you're gonna be surprised at all the tolls that we have. We've got two tunnels coming in and out of Baltimore. We've got the Fort McHenry and the Harbor Tunnel. You're gonna to to pay a toll each time you go through one of them. You're gonna to have to pay to go over our bridges. You're gonna to have to pay to register your car. You're gonna to have to pay to get your car inspected. I could go on and on and on, but just be prepared for some big time expenses when making your transition here to Baltimore, Maryland. So the fourth con that I wanna share with you are hurricanes and tropical storms. Baltimore, Maryland can be affected by these tropical storms. It's not super often, but chances are one time per year, we're gonna get at least the remnants of one of the major hurricanes that comes out of the Gulf. At the very least, we'll get heavy rain and some local flooding, but we've also had hurricanes like in 2003 when Isabel came through and just wiped out all the low-lying areas. Areas down in like Fells Point, you also had a lot of the Baltimore County area affected, like places like Middle River, Essex, Dundalk, where flooding came in and it just essentially wiped out these great waterfront communities. So don't think because you're moving north, you're not gonna be affected by a hurricane, you are and you just need to be prepared for it. Now, are we gonna get one or two or three every year, like places like Florida or Louisiana? No, we're not. And I hope it stays that way, but you have gotta be prepared for it. Uh, one good thing though is this, lenders here when they're doing mortgages are not going to require you to get hurricane insurance separate from what you may typically pay with your homeowner's insurance policy. If you do buy a waterfront home though, you are going to have to pay, chances are rather, you're gonna to have to pay for flood insurance. So keep that in mind if you, my friends, are looking for a waterfront home. So. Again, just be prepared for hurricanes because they can happen here. Con number five that I wanna share with you are the bugs that we have here in Baltimore. Now, the good thing about it is for about, I don't know, six months of the year, you're not gonna have to worry about this one. But come spring time, all the way till probably November, you're going to have to deal with a bug in some way, shape or form. The worst bug here in the area are mosquitoes. I'm telling you, mosquitoes here in Maryland, I don't know what they might be drinking or eating, but they are huge. They're so big that they could be pets for, for goodness sake. But nevertheless, you've got to be aware that mosquitoes are real and they're going to attack you here. I, I can't, I can't, say it any better than that. In addition, some other bugs that we have is the cicadas. Just a few years ago, we had the return of the cicadas and the good thing is they only come back three, I believe it's 17 years. So we just had them a year ago here in 2021. So they'll probably be back in 2038. So you don't have anything to worry about for quite some time there. But we've got stink bugs, which just came in not too long ago. And then fall, you're gonna to have to deal with bees, specifically yellow jackets. If you go out to an orchard or a pumpkin patch with your family, you're going to see or get attacked by bees at these places. Now it's probably typical anywhere. You could be in Kansas and have yellow jackets humming around in the fall, but I wanna make you aware of it just so you know. I'll share a quick story here with you to tell you how bad these mosquitoes are. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my family and I, we like to take a camping trip down to the beach in the summertime and we were staying at the campground and my son, I kid you not, he got bit up so bad. He had, you know, mosquito bites all over him. It was so bad in 95 degree heat. He said, dad, all I want are long pants. And we had to go run over to the store to find long pants because all he had packed were shorts because his legs were destroyed by these mosquitoes here. So be prepared, my friends. 
make sure you get some good bug spray, especially those of you that are camping. So there you have it. Look, those are the pros and cons of living right here in Baltimore, Maryland. So if you are planning a move to the Baltimore metro area or anywhere else in Maryland for that matter. Hey, my team and I, we would love to help you out in your transition and welcome you to Maryland, but we just need one thing from you and that's for you to reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, however you need to get hold of us. Look, we got your back when moving right here to Baltimore, Maryland. From Baltimore down the bay to the beaches in Ocean City, we got you covered. Until the next video, my friends, take it easy.